Hey everybody, this is Katie, and I have so wanted to share my garden with you all. Initially, I thought I would check in every couple of weeks, but it's been, it's been four months. This is August the 28th, and I look at my garden, and I, I want all my friends to see it, and I thought this would be the easiest way just to do another garden tour. So we're going to walk you through a lot of the things we've got in the garden. It has grown tremendously over the past four months. One well, of the first things I want to show you all is Beautyberry. It's so pretty. It's a beautiful deep purple. Wow. Wow. Looks like you've got some milkweed down here. Mm -hmm. Just a little bitty guy, but I believe that's the uh, butterfly weed. It's the host plant to the monarch. It's got beautiful orange flowers. We grew those from seed. Then we've got cup plant that's already bloomed. Cup plant over there. A lot of our berries. What's that other milkweed back there that just had a bee leaf? That's a swamp milkweed. Oh, wow. That's one of the prettiest ones, I think. We've got a lot of it. I think somebody was worried that they weren't going to have any milkweed this year, but I think as long as she's got a gardener, she's got whatever she wants. Okay, we're gonna go through the gate. What did what did you just walk by here on the left? I just walked by some Mexican sunflower. And you also got mint. Mint. I think, I think that's bergamot. Bergamot. So is uh is uh, Mexican sunflower a host plant or is it a nectar plant? It's a nectar plant. Yeah, this time of year, especially nectar is important. What are host plants that you have besides the milkweed? Looks like you've got something here. We've got false indigo. Yeah, and it's a host plant for what? Southern dog face butterfly. Uh huh. Wow. And then in here, hard to see is um. Oh, spice bush. Spice bush. Yeah, and it's a host plant to the spice bush. Butterfly, yeah. and I've got a chrysalis now that I'm growing. Oh really? You got and, one over here? Is that uh -huh. what I see over there in your little cage? And a lot of goldenrod. Yeah, goldenrod. It's getting about her. getting ready to bloom. And it's a nectar plant, and I think it's a host plant too. I know it's a very valuable nectar plant in the fall. Looks like you've got some lantana for nectar and basil. Wow, look at this. So that's what you've got in your little butterfly yep. thing, is a chrysalis? I'm growing a chrysalis. Mm. I've called him Buddy. Yeah, Buddy's He's, a... I've been watching him grow for a long time. Mm -hmm. What's that giant thing behind you? I don't think that looked quite like that in the spring. No, that's, that's our passion vine. Really? Uh-huh. That much vine grew in four months? Uh-huh. And what's that orange butterfly flying around? That's a fritillary. So it's the it, the passion vine is the host plant for, for the, the fritillary. fritillary. That's magnificent. Uh -huh. You want to go back here and look at yep. these beds that we, we had in the spring? I think in April, this one right here was lettuce. We had lettuce in there. So this is the cover crop Very with cool. Reba in the middle of it. And this is, this is supercharging our soil so we can plant more lettuce. Yeah, a lot of times people will just throw fertilizer at, at uh, beds and we're... Uh, put this legume in here to recharge the bed and then we'll chop and drop this and plant lettuce seeds right back into it. Well, that's beautiful. And your next bed looks like you've got some tomatoes. We've got tomatoes, different flavors of tomatoes and some basil. Yeah, got some beautiful basil. What do you make with your tomatoes? I have a feeling you don't eat tomatoes. What do you make with them? I'm, I make pasta sauce with it. Yum. I make marinara. Yes, maybe we'll have pizza tonight. I just put it in the blender and, and push it and it goes. And you talked in the spring about this area. So we've actually got strawberries. That, Full of strawberries. But you've got a couple other plants. You've got oregano and you've got... Lamb's quarter. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, that's like a spinach. And I actually see that cardinal creeper that you uh -huh. mentioned in the spring. We moved it over here to get more sunlight and it's got two blooms on it. What's over here that's so tall? Is that that... Uh, Joe Pie? Jerusalem artichoke, Joe Jer Pie, and goldenrod. They're all 11 foot tall. Let me stand back here so I can give it scale. Look at you. Wow. You got some beautiful zinnias right behind you. Uh huh. Oh, you gotta talk about your you gotta talk about your spinner gourds that your sister gave you. I have spinner gourds in here, and they're so cool. They're little bitty mini gourds, yeah. and actually, they first were discovered in Williamson County, Tennessee. Really? Uh-huh. 
And since you have such a lovely sister, now we got spinner gourds and passion fruit slash maypops hanging in our everywhere. Yeah, and it looks like this is a good spot to talk about caterpillars because you are the caterpillar whisperer now. We have so many caterpillars in here. Let's look right here. So they're all different sizes. There's a baby right there and a baby and a baby and a baby and two more babies and a big one. Yeah, and look at that one right there. So they're absolutely all, oh my goodness. And since we don't spray in our garden, we have all There's this one. natural habitat for butterflies just to frolic. I think I see it. Yeah, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. Let's walk back it's here. Very to exciting. Your, walk back here to your right. Looks like you got some more swamp milkweed. Uh-huh. And Joe Pie behind it. And I love the way it blooms. Yeah. We have a lot of bees that come onto this also. Yeah. What's this giant growth that's just taken over back here? That's your gourds. I My gourds. So you grew grew gourds this summer. A lot of different yeah. flavors of gourds. What's this popping out in here? That looks like a pawpaw. That's a pawpaw tree, and we can tell something's been chewing on it. So we've had a zebra swallowtail show up for the uh -huh. first time this summer. Uh huh. And we actually picked our first pawpaws last week. From the and farm. We've got a basil bed. Uh huh. Um, look at this. Got a giant black swallowtail right here just fluttering around trying to steal the show. It's magnificent. Getting nectar from the. Bees. Yeah. A lot of Mexican sunflower. This is a little potting area here that I built. I've got more swamp milkweed. I've got cardinal plant. I've got anise hyssop. Come up here and look at these flowers that Lily planted. Look at her. Her wedding flowers are all mature now. We had a wedding since April. <laughs> Looks like your pond is maturing. Uh huh. Look and our that. passion vine has. Taken matured over. and gone everywhere. Yeah, the passion vine, it's funny, once it got established, it sent out suckers. So now it's coming up over the rock wall. It's completely taken over the trellis. Did you notice the bees here on this one spot? Isn't that funny? It looks like they're just drunk with nectar and just chilling out. But there's probably a thousand caterpillars on that one plant. Wow. Let's go back here and look at this. More basil you and some parsley. Can yeah. oh, cantilla. Can 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 yeah. These are Lily's wedding flowers. They didn't really work out with that hundred degree temperature, but they are beautiful. Yep, they're yep. neat. Yep. It's something special. Yeah. We've got a pipe vine back here that eventually will mature enough that we. Oh, something's been eating it. We're waiting on a butterfly. Well, look at that. Something's been chewing on it. There could be a black caterpillar on here. Just saying. What do you think? That would be exciting. Oh, well, there's something there. We'll just have to keep... There's a little red, little red specks right here. Not sure what that is. Could be eggs. Could be something else. Look down to here, more nectar plants, Mexican sunflower. We finished our fence. That was a challenge. Here's our little pond. Yeah. We've had a lot of babies in there too since. We've had since fish. Last time. We've got spiders in there controlling the, the mosquitoes that may or may not hatch from a pond. Yeah, this is just magnificent. Look at all this. This is about the time of day the butterflies just come out in force and just take up all the resources this garden has to offer. Look at the patio. This false indigo is 14, 15 feet tall. Wow. Did you hear that hummingbird just now? We just got chattered at. Anything special on your patio? It looks like you've got a musky dine going. going musky for... dine is growing. Yeah. And they're about the size of a... Oh, I, I see know. them. I mean, you can see them, though. Wow, look at that. It is really growing. And the okay. other side, we got pipe vine coming up. Uh-huh. Careful. And your pipe vine has a little bit of uh, 
passion vine next to it. Got a couple other host plants over here that we got from your sister. Uh -huh. This is, uh, oh, what is this? Nettle, stinging nettle, which is really great for butterflies. That's our third milkweed. That's common milkweed. We've got some blue cardinal flower, or blue lobelia. Fantastic. Hop back a little bit and close this video up. Tell me how your garden grows. We just love to come out here and watch the butterflies and every day it's amazing, everything that's growing. Yeah. And you, you know, even the ants, we've, we've, we've kind of had a love, love, hate, love relationship with the ants, but they're important to a garden. They open up our peonies and they do things that we can't even fathom, but uh, we don't, we don't just plant for one particular thing. We plant for everything. And now look at it, one and a half years later, 18 months, we have a lush garden, a lush or you garden. have a lush garden. Yeah. You've got rules behind you. What's it say? Plant Garden your wishes. Rules. Plant your wishes. Play in the dirt. Hope for rain. It's a dirty job, but full. But pull the weeds. Relax. Share with friends and family. That's what we're doing today. Yep. So glad we could share this, and I promise we will come back in the next month and show you what's going on, and show you the new butterflies that are being born in our garden. Right. Have a good day, and keep on moving.